Hey y'all, it's Allie and I am bringing you another video today and I happen to be wearing my Polaroid shirt. Do you like the double chin action going on? I received Christmas money, like surprise Christmas money last year and so I went ahead and bought this puppy last Christmas, so almost a year ago and I've had a lot of folks that have been asking me throughout the year like, didn't you get that printer and what do you think about it? And I just totally haven't even gotten around to doing a video on it and so I thought I would just give you like my thoughts on it. There are several in-depth reviews of this little printer and so I don't really want to exhaust anything because they're out there but I will, I'm giving you my thoughts on what I think about it versus the selfie printer because a lot of folks who don't have a printer, like a convenient printer, most of us have like a, a computer printer but those can be kind of cumbersome to print out pictures sometimes. Nowadays, they do have Wi-Fi ability and they're a lot better at printing out you know, pictures from your phone, but there's even more convenient printers like the selfie printer and like the little zip printer. So if you haven't purchased one of those yet, I'm just giving you my thoughts on this zip printer, the Polaroid zip versus the selfie because I do have my opinion on it and I thought it might help you because if I ha had not purchased anything yet, I'd want to know which one, you know, was cost effective and as far as convenience and stuff. My cat just took all my beading string and it's everywhere. I just saw that just now, oh my gosh. So if you are interested in maybe getting a little convenient printer for your journaling and you're kind of curious at which one might be best, then hopefully this video will be helpful to help you make that decision. I have already done a really in-depth review on the selfie printer and I can link that below, but I have not done a, vi a video or review of the Polaroid Zip printer. And I really don't think I'm gonna do like a huge in-depth review of it, but I will give you my initial thoughts on it and what I think as far as journaling folks are concerned, what I think would be the best route to go if you don't have any printer at all other than like a home computer printer and you want something with a little more ease of printing. So I bought this Polaroid printer um, last Christmas with some, some extra Christmas money that had come in and it was about $130 on Amazon and it came with some Polaroid sheets but after investigating and researching the different printers I had come to find out that the papers that go in these printers are very different like there's not too many like I heard I, I read better reviews on the actual printer for a pocket printer from Polaroid, but I didn't see great results from the paper. So what I did, and there is a way that you can put different zinc paper in different machines, for the Polaroid it works anyway, and so I use LG paper. And there's an entire video of this guy who takes all three of the brands, the Polar, the Polaroid one, the LG one, and there's another one. Uh, there's another type of paper, and he shows you the same exact picture printed out with three different kinds of paper. And really what it comes down to is your preference on, like, do you like a warmer looking photo? Do you like a cooler, meaning the, the light? The, is the light warmer? Is it gonna be more orangey? Is it gonna be more blue looking? Or is it gonna be like neutral? From his review and from other th places that I've seen, the LG paper was the most neutral when it came to the warmth of the photo and the, and the color balance. So again, I'm a photographer, so that's kind of important to me that I have, did you hear me just, me. <laughs> it's important to me to make sure that that's as close as possible because I'm kind of snobby and I kind of know what all that is. So I bought this LG paper and the way that you have to do it is you, you keep this uh, smart sheet thing from the paper that it comes with. So basically this little blue card is the same card that came with the Polaroid paper that came with it. And I did already use that paper and I thought it was, I didn't like it. So, but what I do is I take the packs of the LG paper and instead of using the card that's in the LG paper, I put the Polaroid scan thing on the paper and it zips through the Polaroid scanning so it thinks that it's a trick it. So I'm using a different paper 
with the Polaroid scanner bar thing. So make sure if you want to do this, where you want to do a different paper with your pocket printer, make sure to keep the brand of the printer, keep it so you can do that. So that's that. I don't know what this is. What is this for? Oh, this is to store remaining papers, I guess. So anyway, that's what I did. I bought the LG paper. I use, I saw in the videos from other people how you can put the blue card for the original paper in the pocket printer and use other paper. So it's very easy. You literally just undo this here and there's your paper in there. No touchy. It says it wants you to touch that. So you can see that I have LG paper in my Polaroid zinc pocket printer and you know i have dropped this a couple times i'm not gonna lie and papers have gone flying i mean i need to get a case for it so that i can just not be worried about that but you know it happens so then i had the unfortunate thing of losing my charger and the cool thing is as my husband actually had figured it out before i had received tons of help from comments thank you so much to everybody who let me know that the Android charger fits in the zip printer. So I just bought like a little $5 Target charger. I had this other funky one that had like a splitter on it. It was really bulky, but this one's small and I can easily use that one. So that will charge it. So I have been able to charge it. And just to give you an example of the way that it prints. So let me get a picture. So this connects to your phone via Bluetooth and you turn it on. There's a little button on the side that lets you turn it on and it should like beep or have a little light here. Let's see if I can push it good enough here. Is it dead? For real? It can't be dead. Maybe it's dead. Oh, no, but it's not dead. I, I have a light. I am getting, getting a light right here. There's a little tiny light right there. And so that is means it's on and it hooks up to <clears throat> your Bluetooth. So if you go to your settings and your Bluetooth is on, you will see there is a little Polaroid zip and you can connect it to your Polaroid zip. La la. Then you download your the app for the Polaroid zip. I believe I have that one right here. It's this little Polaroid thing. So there's the app. Now there's some bunch of things that you can do on this app, but for me, I just like when I'm on the go, I just print out something that I've already edited, qu edited quickly. So I'm gonna go to my gallery and pick out something to journal. This is a house that I'm going to, it's called Whatever Craft House. And I'm going in March. I just found out today. I am so excited. You just basically push print, a little printer button. Sending image. So you will hear it do some little here in just a second. It takes just a little bit. David, I don't feel good. Feeling nauseous all of a sudden. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, and um, okay, I think it keeps like pooping out. Okay, so it only printed out hot the picture. I apologize that my little demonstration is not working very well. I just pulled this out so I could quickly film. So let me just show you though this difference. So this is the original picture and this is the picture that it printed. It's obviously dull. This is like pooping out. It doesn't have much battery in it. And I just wasted Ugh, I just wasted basically a picture because these aren't cheap, y'all. This is why I'm telling you this right now, okay? 
This Polaroid zip printer is great as a novelty. If you have 130 bucks to just blow and you just wanna buy it because it's fun, go buy it. It's fun to have a printer in your purse and if you have something, oh, I can print that out for you right now, what? And then bring it out and people are all like, what's going on? It's really fun. It's a great conversation starter, all that good stuff. But these puppies are like 53 to 54 cents a piece. This piece, I just wasted 54 cents basically. So the zip paper, you can find it for like 50 cents per picture. I think it's a pack of 50 for like, I don't know, 20 something dollars, 28, nine dollars. And the LG printer, they're packs of 30 for like 16 dollars. And so yeah, 53 cents to 54 cents, depending on which buyer on Amazon you get it from, as opposed to, the selfie paper, which for a four by six, this again is two by three. This is a two by three picture. The selfie printer, it's a four by six uh, paper, 27 cents per four by six paper. Do you know how many of these you can get on a four by six? Four. You can get four of these on a four by six. Why I am telling you to go with the selfie paper, selfie printer for cost, this is the very the best way to go. It also, it plugs into an outlet. So you're not gonna get your, accidentally, your Polaroid that's not charged up, pooping out and giving you half a picture. That's another reason that I just thought of at the moment. My thoughts on the Polaroid is it's fun. It is a fun little printer. I enjoy having it. I don't enjoy when it prints out half a picture, but I enjoy having it. A selfie printer is definitely more cost effective. And you know, I mean, again, you're getting these large sheets of paper for 27 cents. So that's my thoughts on it, y'all. If you have not purchased any kind of like convenient printer or whatever, the selfie actually is cheaper. I got mine on sale for like 90 bucks. You do have to purchase paper pretty quickly when you buy the selfie because it only comes with like 10 sheets. Polaroid zip, I think it comes with like I don't know, five or 10 sheets of paper, and then you can buy this little pack. This is a, a 30 pack of the LG paper. It comes with like 10 sheets, I think, per thing. And I already, I still have two packs. This tells you how much I'm like my precious with these papers because I don't use them very much. And so I don't know if that helped anybody, but yes, if you weren't, if you have not gotten anything yet, I think the selfie is the way to go for journaling because you just get more for your money and the quality is so much better than the Polaroid zip. I forgot to mention that. One thing that I wanted to do, um, I was just thinking about this while editing, is I wanted to compare the quality. I just thought about this just now. I didn't do it in my original filming, but I'm gonna do it right now for you. I've got the selfie printing out right now for two by three photos and it, don't, it doesn't take very long. I have to cut them to be two by three, but this is a selfie paper that's two by three. And then I will print the sa a same picture out with the Polaroid zip. So it's printing out the yellow right now. I wish I could show you all this. Hold on a second. Here. You see there's the magenta printing out and then it's going to print out the cyan and then it's going to do a clear coat so when the picture comes out it's pretty much dry to the touch because it's, it's, it puts a film so here's the cyan or no that's the clear coat my bad so it's done so I'm touching it there's nothing smearing at all See, yeah, this is this is good. Okay, printing that out right now, and then I'm just going to print this out or cut this out while that is um, going. This is the Canon selfie paper. The quality is amazing. This is the zip paper. Look how it looks pink. I mean that is quite a difference you know and I don't know if you can tell 
but there's a lot of detail that is lost in the zip printer. I mean, it's pretty obvious that the, the selfie printer does better with the pictures, but I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side of the same picture, and I wanted to use something with a lot of white and, and, and dark, so you can see that's really how you can tell a good printer, if it can make out those differences in details with really uh, light and dark, like harshness, you know, if it's super light or super dark. So I thought this was a good picture to use. So, I mean, you can still see a lot of detail in Parker's face and stuff, and you lose that with the zip printer. So I wanted to add that in so you could see it. It's just the fun factor is what this thing is. It's not, to me, it's not really an amazing journaling. I mean, it's like, you know, you're at the park and you want to journal some pictures of your kids that you just took, and these are sticky backs, so you can just plop them in your journal. It's just convenience, it's fun, it's kind of a novelty, but man, it's expensive. <laughs> it's real expensive. So I personally use the selfie most of the time. And I do love the Polaroid, but if I had to choose one or the other, selfie would be the one that I would choose for journaling and Again, Christmas money came. I wasn't expecting it, so I bought the zip. All right, y'all. Hope that was helpful, and I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate my patrons who help me make these videos. I just cannot thank you enough. I have all sorts of fun stuff, extra fun content and rewards over there if you want to check it out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might just make it an Instagram picture <laughs> with half of the house. All the cute parts were over here, too. So thanks all for watching, and I will see y'all later. Bye. Bye. So anyway, I just spit. I just spit on my selfie. Oh, something is not happening. So that didn't work because it was on the wrong side. Bless its little heart. Bless my little heart. <laughs> Let's do this. A little bit, so hopefully it'll, whoops. Oh my gosh, my moon ring just caught on my tripod. Oh my goodness. Woo.